what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel energy healing tarot one two three it's your girl and for sure i'm here to drop some jewels and love gemini you are up sun moon rising and venus and the cross watchers this is a general message for the month of october so guys keep in mind cannot resonate with everyone take what's for you leave the rest behind in any event continue to show your girl that love and support like comment share subscribe to the channel follow me over to those social media platforms and go ahead browse the shop and book a reading over at mnmenergy.com all that information is in the detailed description box below. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's early. But, ugh, Gemini. It's a mess. It's a mess it is. But, uh, ooh, ten of pentacles. I'm loving it. Okay. Um, I see you guys focused. Being focused on your money. Okay. Union would be nice. Okay. But, um... All right, let's just get down to the nitty gritty. Shit is taking a while. I don't know if it's you or if it's the other person. Somebody feels like somebody's playing like a little bit of hard to get or whatever. So they want them to hurry up. I do feel the energy of where somebody, like there's a makeup going on or somebody, or it's like a, I don't know. Somebody just, it's like somebody want to get his love to you. Or you want to get his love to someone. Somebody feels like somebody's playing hard to get. You know, might be hiding something. But it's just like, at the end, it's just like, just make it feel better. <laughs> make it feel better. Okay, let's come together and make it feel better. Okay. So, I don't know, but I do feel the energy. It's like somebody, somebody wants to come and make you feel better. But it's like... I don't know. They feel like you're playing hard to get or something like that. So, <clears throat> guys, we have ourselves a 10-card spread. All the other cards have been shuffled to save us time. So, let's get into it. Your affirmation for the month of October is initiative. Mm -hmm. Step right up. You're being awarded a boost of initiative. This potent potion will give you the gusto you need to move your life in a previously unexplored direction. If you're in a relationship, then it's time to take initiative and make some interesting plans for you and your partner. It's not in one. If you're not in one, it's time to reach out to old friends, go on adventures, and potentially meet some new cohorts. Either way, this great journey is being is beginning with one small step or one short text or whatever. I'm not the boss of you. But I instantly picked up the magician here, manifest the Mercury energy. Get ready to go on Mercury retrograde. Um, <clears throat> cautious guys with the people of your past coming back you know um but some of you guys are you know getting a lover back from your past who who is coming to make it better like they might be actually coming to make it better um they feel like you're playing a little hard to get you know but again that could just be you using your discernment because again of the mercury retrograde and not being sure because it's like are you here because of the retrograde or are you here to stay you know <clears throat> Don't mind my dryer. But, um, yeah, definitely picking up Mercury energy here. Gemini, your energy, and Virgo. Underneath the deck, we got open heartedness. Mm -hmm. And like I said, somebody want to come make it better. I just instantly seen, like, parted legs. But we got Gemini. We got your simple sitting up here or two need to make a decision here or an 11. But, um, yeah, I just see you needing to open up to this person or this person opening up to you. Somebody taking an initiative to be like, look, this is what I want to do to you. It's how I want to make you feel, I'm trying to be here, okay? So, Spirit, we thank you for these opening messages. For Gemini, what do we have? We got moving on, escape. Yeah, like somebody coming in to make it better. I feel like some of you guys, like I said, could be trying to get away from this person or whatever. Um, it's just like, why you or whatever, or what's the catch, you know? Like you feel a little shaky on it, but... I feel like this person also could be moving on and escaping from a situation and coming and finally taking that initiative, you know, making that step towards you, you know, been manifesting you, wanting you in their life. That's the energy of the the one that wants to, like, make it better. I feel like they're getting away from something here and now they want to come and make it better with you. So what do we have for Gemini here, Spirit? So underneath the deck, family support. Yeah. Okay. 
This person could be asking friends or family to help them out in a situation of getting close to you, setting up something really nice, nice um, romantic getaway or something of that nature here. You guys also could have family together or this person could be getting away from a family situation to come and be with you. And I'll say, and you'll see as I pull the rest of the cards why I said that part. But um, yeah, or you know, this person could come in and like feel like family or come in and support you if you have a family, okay? You know, stepmama, stepdaddy type of thing. But your first card that flew up was new opportunities. So definitely new opportunities here in love. Like I said, somebody wants to come in and make you feel good, make you feel better through all the bullshit you've been through because you're at the end of a learning cycle. A cycle is closing out or has closed out for you in the month of October. And this new opportunity is coming in to make you feel good, feel me? New inspiration. I'm telling you, whoever this is, they're going to put it on you. You're going to feel like a new man or a woman. They're going to make you feel good, all right? You probably also inspired this person here, hence the moving on escaping. You know, they realize that they um, deserve something better and deserve, you know, what it is that you have to offer. Finally realizing that, you know, you guys could be the ones here because there's an intuitive understanding also in the mix here. So, let's get another message out before we get the rest of the cards here. One card here for Gemini. Underneath it says... <clears throat> love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you in Gemini. That's why they probably feel like you're playing hard to get because you're focused on yourself right now. Like I, like I said, I was picking up the energy. You know, you went, you just learned. You got two cards. But you just learned, you know, a lot. You went decisions. You made a lot of decisions here in your life. Cut a lot of people out. You know, started focusing on yourself. And this person, that's why they probably feel like it's like a hard to get, hard to catch up with you. Hold on, guys. All right, but they feel like it's like hard to get or hard to catch up with you or whatever because you're just like so focused right now. I do feel like you guys do want somebody to come in though, like the new inspiration. <laughs> somebody to come in and just like, you know, share, you know, some of your time with, you know, someone to relax with, you know, at the end of your day or whatever, someone to chit chat, talk to. I feel like you do want that around, but you're like, you're so focused. This person do want to come in and make it feel better. But anyway, underneath this deck, you got the hottest love has the coldest ending. Mm, let's see. Adventure awaits. Go find it. So, go on and take that person up on their offer. Might take you on for a ride, okay? Okay, yeah, according to Greek mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, and a head with two faces. Fear and their powers will split them into two separate beings, condemning them to find their lives in search of their other halves. From Plato's The Symposium, okay? Twin flame card here, soulmate card, true love, life partner, all that, yeah. So the person that's coming in is more than likely who that is, your other half. They, they go make you feel good, okay? You got to give them a chance. Like, don't slip up on this. I do feel like you probably went through something that was spicy or something that was passionate at one point. And it just, like, puts you in a, a cold place or whatever. Or, like, you put an ice box around your heart. Because, like, I feel like you probably pulled out your love, like, a lot here or whatever. Because I know that that, as a Gemini, so myself, you know, that's, like, part of our thing. Like, you know, actually caring for people that ideally we should not care about. But, <laughs> you know, we're just caring. We, we give the care. We care about folks despite what people say about us. Um, it's just our, in our nature to be discerning of whether or not we want to give in a certain energy. And sometimes that can come off to people as if we're two-faced or whatever, but we just know how to protect ourselves when we need to. It's our defense mechanism. But I feel that at one given point, you probably love somebody so much. Like, you gave them your everything. You know how we do. Pour that love out. Because like, when we love, we love hard. But I feel like this person probably like broke your heart or something like that, and it put an icebox around you or whatever. And, you know, that's, you know, you're at the end of that learning cycle. But this person, wants, this new person wants to come back in. Or it could even be an old person, okay? Like I said, because of the Mercury retrograde. Want to come in and they want to re-spark that flame. They want to, you know, make you feel good, okay? They want to kiss it better. All right. So, 10 cards spread, guys. Let's get them out. Tower, what I say? Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy there for me with the Hierophant. So, yeah, there was some, there was a major shakeup and a commitment, Taurus energy there between you or this person. That's what I'm saying. Somebody could have been escaping this or getting out of this situation. 
you know, literally running for the hills. Once the tower came down, just straight ran, okay? Or a tower could have came down and then made someone see that they wanted a true commitment in their life, all right? Yeah, want a true commitment in their life. Two of Cups here. This is also the energy mutually between you guys in the relationship. I do feel like, you know, Gemini, this could be you. You know, you had that shake up, you know, at the end of that learning cycle. You decided, you know, I want something new in my life, new inspiration. I want my true partner, my true life partner, my true soulmate. You know, I want true commitment, someone who's going to be there for me, who's going to do right by me. Someone who shares some of this, at least some of the same morals and values, you know. Um, where I just feel at home, where I feel safe, you know. I want someone that's met for me from the divine. Next, we got Will of Fortune, Fixed Energy, there, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, uh, Aquarius, and the Strength, Leo, again. Very major here, guys, with the exception to this Two of Cups, which I just see, really, that's kind of major right now, because that's the union. That's what this is all about, but this is a major change surrounding a union here. Somebody, so, yeah, Gemini. Definitely, definitely went through some major shakeups in love here. Like I said, they just put an ice box around your heart. Okay? You want something real. You want something solid. You want a true commitment. You both want this. I feel that this other, other partner here is doing the best that they can to change their fortune. I feel like they're trying to resist any, like, old cycles in their life, any karma in their life. They're trying to keep smooth, clean slate within themselves here. Doing best what's right. Really having the strength to approach you. Having the strength to do what's best by you. You know, like I said, having the strength to come forward and change whatever dynamic, you know, is going on in your life. Whether you guys have been together before, have not, if this is a new person, if you guys have been together in the past, I honestly do feel like, you know, this is somebody else from your past. You know, like I said, this Mercury retrograde is coming up. This is somebody from your past who wants another go around and really trying to have the strength to bring it in. But I feel like at one given point, you know, they messed up the commitment you guys have between you guys here. Yeah, because now you're blocking it. You just started blocking it, blocking them, not really wanting to deal with them, trying to heal, heal Aquarius energy. All right. And just work on yourself, work on your passions, work on your endeavors, like I said, because I still see pinnacles and those stars, eight of them at that. Just tediously working on your own craft, your passion here. This person knows that they, like, hurt you here, possibly, in the past with some lies, with some deception, with some drama or whatever. And it's like they thought they could get away with it, but then they realized that they really couldn't. Yeah, they realized they really couldn't because you kicked their ass out to the curb. I feel like you probably threw somebody out. Yeah, that's how I went up. That's you. You're the fire. You're the flame. Okay, you blew the hell up. You kicked their ass out. Now here their asses is walking in the cold, feeling left out because they thought they could get away with something here in the past, but they couldn't. You know, like it, it really affected your relationship or whatever. Now this person wants to change with these two fives sitting on this wheel of fortune. This person really, really wants to change here. Okay, like they do. They want to, like I said, clean slate, change, close out cycles in their life, clear up their karma. They want to come back towards you. This person thought that, you know, you'd be boohoo crying, hurting or whatever, but they see that now you're just healing. You're healing and you're working on you. And now they're just like literally feeling left out in the cold. Uh-huh. You, you guys could have been married or something of that nature. Or you could have been, again, dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn or a Virgo. Or this could also be your energy here. But you're just focused on work. You're blocking out any type of commitment or like true dealings and just healing and focusing on work, focusing on your abundance. Yep, Virgo energy here, going deep within yourself. This person also could be going within about this relationship. I feel like you both are going within about this relationship. I feel like um, this person also could, like I said, they're watching you. They're watching you. While they're going, it's like... I'm really picking up more on their energy that they're sitting in this hermit mode, like watching you, analyzing the situation, the relationship, thinking about, you know, all the things that has happened, you know, and just watching you do your thing. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius here, but divine timing is at play. Like whatever happened was meant to happen. Okay. You guys got hella majors, like hella freaking majors. Okay. But this person is doing the best that they can to bring balance about the situation. They want to balance this out. Like, they want you. They want to make you feel better. They do. 
trying to manifest it and trying to take that initiative, doing all that they can. They want to make you feel better. They want to make it right. They want to come out of the cold. It's like they're just watching you. Somebody could be just watching you too. Because when I look at these images, it's like both the King of Pentacles and the Temperance are both facing this way. So this could be the same energy and it could be this Hermit energy that's just like watching this King of Pentacles work. And becoming illuminated about a relationship. Needing to heal any deceptive type energy that is around or realizing that, you know, the lies, the rumors, the mind games, the bullshit is not going to, it's not working. It's not going to work. Somebody has healed over this in this relationship. Okay. Yeah. Want to come in and make an offer. I feel like this King of Pentacles probably wants to go in and just come in and make an offer. Somebody is watching this King of Pentacles make this offer. Mm-hmm. Somebody could also be coming in and making you an offer. Like I said, this King of Pentacles could be coming in and making you an offer. You sitting here stern as hell in your energy. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Page of Kent, Pentacles, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the King of Swords. But I feel like mentally, like you're just moving on. You're moving forward here. And this person is coming up with like a small offer. And it's like, bitch, I'm the star. <laughs> I'm the star. And you're coming with this offer here. Like, you need to go back to the drawing board if you want this relationship. Or if you want to mess with me. Or if you want to make this better. Or if you want to get close to me. But with that adventure awaits, go for it. It's, I'm still getting the energy of, like, Gemini. Like, use your intuition. That's what I'm saying. It's different for everybody here. Because that adventure could literally be you guys need to move on and escape from Someone who's trying to come back, you know, from playing a mind game or whatever, playing some bullshit games. But this also could be you guys needing to take a leap forward here and just being open to this relationship that's coming back around. Like, I, I do feel like it's a relationship that is coming back around. And it's like you should, like, kind of be open to it, to be honest. Even though they're, they're coming up with this page of pentacles, we know that they're sitting like a king of pentacles, Okay. So they have a lot more to offer, but I think they're just trying to start slow. This is that initiative. They're trying to, you know, get you to open up to them. All right. Yeah, because there's a lot of stress and worry on both parties here. This is on both parties. Both parties stay up at night. Gemini, you for your reasons, them for theirs. OK. Well, them because they feel like you're playing hard to get and they want you and you because you're still at the end of a learning cycle. Next three, please. The lovers. Ten of Pentacles. The devil. Uh-huh. They stressed and worried. They want you to take this offer. This page of Pentacles is going to lead to Ten Pentacles for them. They want to choose you here. But again, there's this pride and there's this ego that's in the way here. Okay. Gemini, Capricorn energy. There's this pride and there's this ego in the way. Ah, yeah, they want to come in and make you feel better. They know how to make you feel good. They know how to make you feel good, okay? It's like rub, let them rub your booty. Let them rub your booty. I feel like that'll be it. They rub your booty, that's it. It's a wrap. They want to kiss it better and make you feel better. Mm -hmm. Underneath your deck, you have Eight of Pentacles because you've been working and now they want to come and work on you. But they're just really worried that you're not going to take this offer. It's like they're looking at the offer that they're presenting you. They know that it may not be good enough, but they should still go with this offer. They have to take this initiative somehow. This is their way of coming to you. Their way of saying, I love you. Their way of saying, I'm sorry. Their way of saying, I want you. Because at the end of the day, even though they're showing up with a page of pentacles and not necessarily a cup of emotion, they, there's a relationship in the center here, a union, a spiritual union, like a true bond here, spiritual bond, like life partner type of bond, especially with that Plato Symposium card. So, Spirit, we thank you for these messages as we close out for Gemini. Very soon, you guys need to clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yeah, don't slip up and mess up on this opportunity I feel here. 
like I said, um, they're trying. They're trying. Let me get that. So yeah, it was the very soon card again. Just really decide what you want. And you actually did have a flipper. An attraction, yeah. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So yeah, adventure awaits. Go for it. Embrace this. Just go with the flow. I do feel like it's going to lead to something beautiful here. I mean, you got the Hierophant, the King of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles sitting out here with the Two of Cups. All right, so temperance, divine timing as at play, will of fortune, you know, look like it's a good thing. Yeah, children are involved, like I said, or this could be somebody from your past. Your love life is being affected by children. Children's involved. You guys probably got kids together. That's what I'm saying. Somebody coming back from your past could be someone you co that you was co-parenting with. Like I said, also could be spouses that were in separation, um, childhood friend, whatever. But Gemini, this has been your message. I know you guys know what to do with this information. And until the next time we speak, peace out.